All right, so we're looking at um, potential top commons for Wilds of Eldraine. Uh, we're trying to look at what might be the top four. And generally speaking, we're being archetype agnostic, uh, saying you could probably try and pick these earlier and they're going to fit in at least, you know, two, if not three or four out of the four uh, usual color pairs that you'll see. Also, there may be some monocolor decks that, that pop up in this set, but there also could be a decent amount of splashing. So we're just going to try and think about as the cars that can go in the, the most types of decks with those colors. Uh, we'll look at it by color, and then we'll kind of look at it by like mana curve and, and card type. Uh, but for white, I think probably the, the top common is going to be Helpful Vigil. It's two game op objects, and we're going to see that with a lot of these cards. Uh, at a reasonable mana cost of just one and a white, uh, you can use enchantment for bargaining later. Might get some uh, in early the battlefield triggers. Uh, fine body. Next, I think it's probably cooped up. Uh, you can do bargain shenanigans, you know, exile trigger, enchant creature on the stack, and bargain it away. But it can just help you uh, remain aggressive, or like maybe proactive. Uh, or it can help you be a little more defensive in the grand. You're like potentially like white, black, or maybe like white green types of decks. Um, or more aggressive in, in white, blue, white, red. Uh, next, I think is probably stockpiling celebrant. Tons of good cards to pick up, like the the two before. Um, can help you grind in like white, um, black, can help you find more value and um, generate more value in, in white, red, um, generate value in white, green. Uh, might not be great in, in white, blue if they're trying to be more of like a, a tempo aggro deck. Um, though it is a 3 2, not a 2 3 for 3, so that's something. Um, so we'll see. And I think Archon's Glory can probably be a finisher um, on probably any of these decks, uh, so I think it'll probably be all right. Uh, for blue, I think it's just a, a ton of interaction and two for ones. So uh, probably the the Johan stopgap. Uh, you can bargain it; that's fine. But even just four mana, you know, bounce draw a card uh, is good in a tempo based gameplay. So like you know, blue white, and it's a good spell with the cantrip too for for blue red. Uh, can help keep you alive in blue green, and then um, probably help you um, keep you alive in progressive gameplay and in, in blue black. And then I'm not sure how to rate these next three um, that all have an adventure, but I, I think in some order you're going to have Vantress Transmuter just... Uh, and, and the decks are trying to be a little grindier. So these are maybe not like blue-white cards, except uh, maybe maybe the ad uh, attendants to, to fly over. But uh, I think all these are going to work, and I'm more controlling blue-black, uh, slightly more controlling spell-based um, blue-red, shoot your spell, and then you get a body to stabilize the board. Or you play it early to stay alive and then um, ramp to it in blue-green. So I think the Transmuter, Curse Roll, uh, and then a 3-4 is a fine body. Not great. Uh, the Attendance, uh, maybe you can blow out combat or just save yourself, you know, 3 or 4 life with a um, Desperate Parry. Uh, and then it's, it's a fine blocker and good to turn the corner with a 3-4. And then the, the Gatekeeper, uh, on 2 or, or on 3 if you have to, to, to balance their 2 or 3 drop and... Help us so they don't run you over, and then just a big body to probably block and trade with, or maybe turn the corner with. So I, I kind of like all these, though I think blue's a little more shallow, and I think white's a little shallow too. I think these colors are not quite as shallow, um, the, the next three, kind of the Jun colors. Number one, probably Candy Grapple. Um, great, great, instant, minus three, minus three for two mana, and then you can bargain to, to kill most creatures in the set, uh, other than cards, you know, like Hamlet Glutton. Uh, so I think this will be top, uh, and then it's probably Voracious Vermin after that. Two game pieces, play it pre-combat, swing all stuff. If they block trade, this gets bigger, 3-2, potentially for, for three mana. With the Rat Arrayode, you could bargain away or whatever. It's pretty good. And then it's probably Hopeless Nightmare. Um, just, you can play on one. I, I guess I should say Cannon Grapple, good in any deck. Vermin, probably be really good in, in Black Red, but I, I think it'll be fine just to be bodies in black blue, really grind in, in black white, uh, and, and be bodies in, in the bargain fodder in, in black green. Hopeless Nightmare, I would imagine it'll be good in the, the black white, just enchantments entering, leaving battlefield, really grindy. Uh, trying to do more controlling grinds, you can do Hopeless Nightmare uh, in black blue to try and get them down on resources so you can stabilize a little bit better so they can't maybe do as much against you, and you can always you know get your scry to find what you need. Black red, I think it'll be okay. I don't know if it has great synergies or vector there. And then black green, you can bargain it away um, and just help you 
just get up on card advantage. And then Conceited Witch, I, I think maybe I should have some of these other ones that have a, a single mana adventure maker role, because I do think those are pretty good, and maybe I'm underrepresented. Like the the white one I had fifth, um, the green one I had fifth, um, as an example, I have this one fourth. So maybe they're a little better than that. Um, but it's like a fine body. Um, but also you can just uh, fit this one man in wherever. Which I think is good. Uh, probably more. Uh, I could probably be fine in any of the decks, to be honest with you. For red, I think a Torch of the Tower is just super efficient. Can get up to three mana, get your scry. Uh, then it's probably right catcher trainee. And our two for one, you know, or even three for one in a way, like can isn't speed trigger celebration if you want to so i think it'll be fine and in, in these like uh red white decks it's a spell then also as a creature you can maybe block with or, or maybe get some attacks to the first strike and red blue it's hashtag rats for red black i think it'll be an early play if you need it in red green so i think it'll be fine and then i the thief kind of i didn't have this as high but two game auction treasure Helps your ant, maybe helps you splash some adventure cards. 2 3, I think, will be a reasonable body, uh, a little more defensive. If they're not just curving out with you with rolls, you can probably either like make them use a combat trick or, or have the defensive speed to stymie attacks. Um, and like a, a red blue, probably won't be great, and red white might not be. Well, actually, no, it'll trigger celebration. It'll actually be fine in red white, I would imagine. Uh, it'll be fine to help you ramp in uh, red green. No, and it's probably fine in, in red black. And I think Cut-In is one that generates a role. And it's Young Hero role, which I think is one of the better roles. So I think it'll be good to clear a blocker in red-white and then put on creature that you can pop up more. It's a spell. Um, it, it's, I mean, cost four, so maybe it's not great for red-blue, but it will kill a good number of things. I think it'll clear let you be more aggressive in red-black. And I think it'll be fine in red-green for interaction. And then for green, I think it's probably Hamlet Glutton. Uh, big boy come down on turn four or five potentially, um, gain some life, stabilize. Uh, they're gonna have to have. Uh, there are only a few removal spells um, that that really take this out without getting in a combat and two for oneing yourself. So uh, this is just big, uh, and I think it's probably your turn for the wilds to help maybe do some splashing, but also set up a uh, good bargain fodder, get some ramp two for one. And then probably Curse of the Werefox, you know, get a roll token, good interaction. Yeah, it's sorcery speed, but I think that'll still be all right. And then probably Hollow Scavenger. Uh, maybe this should be the the genealogist that gives you the the royal roll token, but I think this is for something to do early. 1-1. One, one. Uh, okay, helps you don't get run over as much. And then you play it, it's a third of activation. And I think Gingerbread will be the best uh, artifact. And I think both these lands will be playable. Grotto for off-color splashing for adventures. Um, potentially, and then Wild just in general is a good card. So, you know, one to two of any of these. Um, in terms of the mana value, it's a little higher than I thought it would be uh, based on like recent sets. You know, we only have, but we also have, you know, some of these ones like Ginger Brute and Hopeless Nightmare come down one, and then good interaction to slot in with Glory and Torch the Tower. But also, we have like this Hollow Scavenger that has as a one adventure, and then we have, you know, these twos for Ober's Attendance, Balloon's Gatekeeper. Vantage Transmuter, and you can do stopgap potentially. Uh, probably not one two. You're probably not going to like sack your ginger brood or the food you made, but uh, you can do it for two later for double spelling. But I guess Conceited Wish is also one. So kind of deceptively high. We're always a little lower. Um, twos. I mean, you're happy to to vigil on two. You might play training on two, but probably you'll try and get this over to three for the adventure and then play it. Um, you can grapple, fit that two in, cooped up. Um, so you don't get run over potentially, um, and then a lot of value comes in at the three, like celebrant, vermin, the like a lot of these two for ones, um, and it's a pretty good interaction. So I feel like this uh, suggests uh, might be a little more um, game piece heavy. You have to have a good curve, good interaction, use your mana. Um, in terms of smoothing mechanics, like we don't have a ring where we're doing looting, so. Adventure might help because you can use your mana more effectively, get more cards that way. And maybe some thinning of the deck, both like wilds and stuff, or Grotto would help you splash these, you know, adventures, uh, or some good uncommon gold cards. So you can just up your power level. But yeah, I, I think it'll be interesting to see, and I think the rolls will be helpful. 
also. Not sold in Celebration. I think it's probably going to be more Adventures and Rolls um, than Celebration. So we'll see. Uh, we're never right on all these, but usually we get about two-thirds right. Um, it, you know, waxes and wanes, depending on the set. So hopefully we're, we're pretty good on this one. And yeah, we'll just assess this later in the format and see how we did. Thanks so much. I uh, hope this is helpful for you as the set comes out, and have a good one.